What's up? I am back in Florida. All right, this is it. I am back from Star Wars Celebration Europe. This year it took place in London. Man, no more jet lag. I am back. My thoughts are all in place, I think. So I want to tell you guys a couple highlights that happened while I was working Star Wars Celebration in Europe. I am the warm up host at the main stage. The main stage is where all the action happens at Star Wars Celebration. It was the celebration stage. It was hosted by the very funny and very talented Warwick Davis. Yeah, I got to share the stage with Warwick Davis with my partner in crime, DJ Elliot. Now, like I said, the celebration stage is where all the action happens. A lot of exclusive content is revealed at the celebration stage. Let's talk about some cool stuff. As you guys already know, you've probably seen it on YouTube already. We got to see a brand new trailer for Rogue One. We got to see the official movie poster for Rogue One. And we got to meet a new alien. They just called him Space Monkey because he had no name. We don't know who he is yet, but he walked out on stage. He or she, I don't know, but it's a Space Monkey. We also got to see the first two episodes of Star Wars Rebels Season 3. We got to meet the young actor that will be portraying Han Solo in the brand new Star Wars film all about that scoundrel, that nerf herder. I have done Star Wars Celebration in Orlando, Germany, Anaheim, and now in London. But this Star Wars Celebration was very special to me because not only was it exciting and incredible, but I also got to be a part of some fan-sponsored events. So I want to give a couple of shout outs to the people that allowed me to be a part of these amazing events put on by the fans and they raise money for charity. So these guys are doing good, so I think they deserve a shout out. So first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to Martin and Jed and his whole team for putting together what was, I think, the ultimate Star Wars fan bash. It was like the pre-party for Star Wars Celebration London. And that was hashtag Cantina. They asked me to host it and man, was it incredible. I got to share the stage with some incredible bands. Live on stage was DJ Elliot, Blues Harvest, Darth, Elvis and the Imperials, and that big UK group Ash closed out the night and they raised a lot of money for charity. So big shout out to those guys. Well done. I also want to give a big shout out to my friends in the States that couldn't make it to London, but they watched every single live stream from Star Wars Celebration from their home. And a very big shout out goes out to my beautiful wife, Lisa. Her first celebration working, she was backstage at the celebration stage supporting me and working hard. So thank you. Appreciate it. Here's a little picture of us in a little couple seconds we had together before we had to run back and get back to work. Another party we attended was, uh, it felt like it was the um, after party for Star Wars Celebration, but it wasn't. It happened in the middle of Celebration, so there was still more fun to be had, and that was one batch. It took place inside of Madame Tussauds. We had it all to ourselves, food, it was a blast. Again, on stage was Darth Elvis and then DJ Elliot and myself. We rocked the house. A lot of people were having a great time. So I want to give a shout out to the 501st UK Garrison, the Rebel Legion UK, Galactic Academy, and Jedi News. So it was four clubs, one force, again, raising money for charity. But something that I found was really cool was during the Star Wars Celebration event, the fans were amazing. I met so many new people, met so many new friends. But what really touched my heart was completely different from any other celebration I experienced is you guys started giving me your cards. Like, you guys have trading cards and you started giving them to me. Like, right here, I got a whole set of cards from the droid makers. And uh, you guys here, more cards that you guys were giving me. Look at all these cards. These are cards from the Rebel Legion, the 501st Legion, Galactic Academy, and I even met uh, Trey and Nancy. They have a Star Wars truck. Take a look at that. So all these cards were given to me. And I really want to keep these cards. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a tradition. Anytime I get a card when I'm working at Celebration, hyping up the crowd, I will put it in my collection. Not only that, I got some really cool buttons. Take a look at these buttons that were given to me at Star Wars Celebration London. These are amazing. I want to keep those. But... The coolest thing I was given, and I know it's not easy for you guys to give these out, I don't know, it's a great tradition, was I started getting these patches. Look at these cool patches. Look at all these patches. Yeah, these cool patches from the 501st. Look at this. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna honor these patches that you guys gave to me. So comment down below and let me know 
some suggestions. Like, should I put it on a jacket and wear the jacket at celebration? What do you think I should do to show off these patches? Because I'm very proud of them. And each patch has a story. Like, for instance, uh, let's see. These guys, they gave me a patch. This is the Emerald Garrison, and they're known as the Outlaws. One of the guys told me that they were named the Outlaws by Dave Filoni himself. Said, hey, you know what? You guys are the Outlaws. You do whatever you want to do. So they took the name, and that's them right there. Another cool thing I was given, um, this is the Dutch Garrison. Now these guys, they all like to party. But the Dutch Garrison, if everybody's partying right here, Dutch Garrison rises a little bit above because they're crazy. They love to party and they were rocking the house at Madame Tussauds at the One Bash. But not only did they give me a patch with Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers at his side, they gave me a very exclusive patch and it's Kylo Ren and some First Order Troopers at his side. They said not a lot of people have that patch. So look at that, given to me by the Dutch Garrison. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Like I said, every patch tells a story. Thank you guys. Again, don't forget, comment, let me know any suggestions on how I should wear these patches. Should I put them on a jacket? Is it okay to have different patches close to each other? I mean, could I have a 501st patch next to a, a Rebel patch, next to a Galactic Academy patch? Is that faux pas? I don't know. Let me know any suggestions. I do want to show them off. Look at all these. Yeah. So, while I get all my patches together, my pins together, and my cards all separated. And remember more about Star Wars Celebration Europe. You guys, take a look at this. I want you guys to check out my partner in crime, DJ Elliot. He put together a little recap video of Star Wars Celebration Europe. Take a look at that. It's gonna give you a lot of memories. You might even be in it. Also, take a look at the official Lucasfilm rap video that we show at the end of Star Wars Celebration. Take a look, check it out, and I'll see you guys in Orlando, and may the Force be with you. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You want to say hi? Oh, I forgot. I forgot about Victoria. It was her first celebration in London. Yeah, she didn't have a name, so when we got to London, I said, hey, what's the best name? Well, Victoria. There she is. She says thank you, she had a great time at her first Star Wars celebration. What? Okay, all right, okay, she wants, to, she's gotta go now. All right, there you go, Victoria. Say bye. Okay, go get your chew toy. Get the chew toy. Yeah. No, no, I, 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 I. Put down Luke Skywalker, put him down. Eat the Gamorrean guard. Good girl. <laughs> gotta train him while they're young, you know, rancors. <laughs> Victoria, where you going? Watch your head. <laughs> See what I did there? Watch your head, because that's sad. Sorry. <laughs>